Welcome back guys. So here's how to power your NACE32 receiver. Uh, first we need to determine what type of ESCs we are using. Uh, it really comes down to two different types. You have opto ESCs and linear ESCs. If you don't know the difference, a uh, you can spot a linear ESC because the uh, small wires coming out of it, you will have three different wires. You will have a yellow or white wire, which is your signal red for power and brown or black which is going to be your ground. These ESCs actually have a BEC built in, uh, basically a voltage regulator and it will kick out, well you will wire this to your PDB uh, and this will be receiving power from your LiPo battery but it's going to kick out 5 volts through this red power wire. That 5 volts can be used to power your flight controller. If you use opto ESCs, you don't have this feature because the opto ESCs only have two of these small wires the white wire signal or yellow, or brown and black for ground. So, first, let's cover linear ESCs. If we look on the flight controller at our output pins here that your ESCs go on, you have channels 1 to 6. Uh, assuming you have a quadcopter, you will only use channels 1 to 4. All of these pins on the outside of the, like near the edge, are all ground pins. All the middle pins are power pins, and all the pins up here next to the numbers are going to be your signal pins. Okay, I've gone ahead and wired up this linear ESC. We have uh, ground on the outside, power in the middle, and signal uh, towards the center. Then I wired up the main power and ground to my PDB. So now once I plug in a LiPo battery, it's going to send voltage from the battery to the PDB, which is powering the ESC, and then it has that voltage regulator stepping the voltage down to 5 volts and powering our flight controller. And that's basically it. Uh, one last tip for you linear guys if you are using linear ESCs do not use a power wire on all four ESCs I know your ESCs come with three wires on every one but you only need one you can keep the red power wire on all four ESCs and it will work but it could cause problems so that's why I recommend just cutting this wire completely out of three of the ESCs only leaving it on one now for you guys with opto ESCs, the ones with only signal and ground wires. Like I said, these do not have that BEC built in, so these will not produce power to power your flight controller. You need an external source, and it has to be a 5 volt source. This actually sounds like a pain, but it's really no big deal. Matter of fact, most people use opto ESCs because of the benefits that you get from opto ESCs. Uh, but basically, uh, the majority of us are just using a PDB like this that actually has a 5 volt BEC built in, which you'll see here. I'm just running two wires from it, and these two wires will also go to the output pins. Because the uh, four opto ESCs will take up channels 1 to 4, uh, that will leave you with 5 and 6 remaining. So then you would just wire these, uh, the power and ground wire to the power and ground on channel 5 or 6. And that will look just like this. I don't have any wire on the signal pin for channel 6, but that's because we don't need it. Now if I plug in my LiPo battery, it's going to take the full voltage of the battery, step it down to 5 volts, and then kick that to the flight controller, which will power it. And that's basically it, guys. It's that simple. So uh, check out my NACE32 playlist as well as my uh, beta flight playlist. Uh, actually, just check out all my playlists. Uh, there should be some helpful videos that may help you out. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.